Hey guys, video number eight. So this is about values and edges and how that relates to drawing and, and really uh, how to use value and edges to portray a realistic image. So I just have a self-portrait here that I sketched the other day, something really quickly. And um, from a photograph, I probably spent 15 minutes tops on it. Um, it's a small sketch. But there are some, a few things I want to talk about, and that's value, first of all, value. Um, so value is just how light and dark things are. And I used a number, uh, a 2B pencil for this, the whole entire, entire thing. Um, so there's a, a little trick that a lot of artists do if you look at paintings and all kinds of art. Um, especially on portraits, you'll notice that where there's light on the on the face, wherever there's light, they use a, a, a darker background. And as it gets darker, uh, you'll see this sometimes, it's kind of a, an old trick, real easy trick, where it gets dark, you kind of lighten the background a bit. So it creates some contrast, and that's what I have going on here. So where it's all light on my face, I just darken the background. Um, I'm wearing a dark shirt there, so my face really comes forward and also the dark area here in the shadow of my hair um, due to the light background here. Now you can, I could have let that dark and really had my hair kind of fade into the background. So there's not really a set rule or anything like that. It's just playing around and, and finding out what works best for you. But I could have made this really dark and have my hair, um, you know, blend that out. And then that kind of goes into edges. I could have lost that edge completely. So you wouldn't even see the edge of my hair. It would have just blended in softly into the background. And it would have really brought this forward and pushed this back. Um, so there's different ways of doing things. Now, as far as edges, and I'm just going to give some quick explanations. We can, in the next few videos, uh, we can go into a little bit more, do a whole video on edges or a whole video on value and show some different images and, and really demonstrate things. But I just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention that with drawing, it's, it's really about values and edges. Um, you know, with painting, uh, there's four things. I, my main videos are about painting, so the four things that I go through are drawing, value, color, and edges. But um, for drawing, you only have drawing and value and edges. Um, you have proportions, composition, a lot of different things, same as painting, but drawing is just more of the basic foundation, the structure of a painting. Um, so when it comes to edges, you know, I could have lost that entire edge. Um, so what it means with, with edges is either soft or hard or lost. Lost completely just means, you know, there's no hard line. Um, you know, like the outline of my face here is a very hard line. So if I, uh, but an area like my nose, you know, that's the thing. A lot of people have trouble drawing noses. It's because they're really, they're a soft edge. It's not this hard line. If you went and sketched a whole line around my nose, all these lines, it's going to look funny. So you kind of have to rub those out a little bit and blend them down and make them softer. So I don't really even have any lines on the nose here, on the bridge of the nose. It's basically just different values, different shades. So that's what I mean by edges, is sometimes it's just going to be a value shift. Um, you know, for shadows and stuff, some shadows are really soft. So it, it's just um, using a soft hand and penciling that in and, and maybe uh, blending that out a bit. So when you have these variation of edges, that's what creates a realistic image. So I have variations here. I have the outline of my, uh, my head and face, but then on the inside, there's a lot of just soft edges and a lot of softer things going on um, as far as shading and things. So getting the values correct, getting the edges correct, that's what's going to give you um, an overall interesting image, and that's what's going to... Um, create realism if you're looking for that or getting it to look a little bit realer, uh, more real. So a lot of people, if you're drawing, if you're trying to draw people, there's a lot of um, 
plenty of folks out there that like drawing anime and cartoons and coming up with your own original characters and things of that nature. Um, I'm not really into that, but I will tell you, if you want it to look a little bit more realistic, you need to add some shading, soften some edges, or at least soften some edges. I mean, you can have a line drawing, a line drawing only, and if you just soften some edges using a tissue or a blending stump or something of that nature, and just soften some of your edges, you can really create um, a focal area, a focal point. So it's also important to have a focal point in your drawing and figuring out what that is before you even start drawing. So really having the preparation. Um, but I don't want to get too more too deep into anything. I just want to talk about values and edges because that's really a lot of what drawing is is about. It's about value and edges and getting that correct. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to make a quick video and uh, stay tuned for the next videos. I'm going to start demonstrating, go into a little bit more, talking about different compositional elements and different ways um, you can approach your drawing. Let me know in the comments below what kind of what are you interested in drawing? Are you interested in drawing people, figures, uh, still lifes, jars, bottles, fruits, landscapes, trees, seascapes? What are your interests? That way I can, I can kind of, um, I kind of know what direction to go in. So that would be really helpful. And uh, thank you for the comments. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up. If you wish to see more, like and subscribe. Take care of yourself. Peace.